What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Before we get started with today's video, I wanted to show you guys our new merch drop, which is going live today. As you can see here, we've got a hoodie sweatshirt that sort of commemorates the build of this car. And we also have the play on Harry's speed shop shirt from the movie as well. Very cool. We also have our last merch drop, which is the JDM Supply. All restocked because it's sold out. So we went ahead and restocked that for you guys that didn't get a chance to get anything. With the Fast and Furious theme drop, we have a bottle. We have a coffee mug and we have a bunch of new jet tags. We have the Harry Speed Shop theme jet tag, the Eclipse theme jet tag, and the uh, Supra and GTR tags as well. So if you guys haven't already grabbed some of this stuff, head on over to throttle.com, swoop up some merch, and let's get into today's video. What's up everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Today is an exciting day and that's because Ricky and I are actually heading up to BCC Unlimited where we're going to be picking up our Mitsubishi Eclipse. If you guys haven't been following along in the Eclipse series, we're actually taking an Eclipse and we're gonna put our spin on what we think the movie hero car would have been like had it been built by today's standard or today's look. It's all painted now. I just saw a photo of the car put back together. Well, kind of put back together. The hood and the trunk are on, the glass is back in. Yeah, I'm excited to see it in person. So Ricky has the Ranger in front of us here. And we've got Ricky's trailer that we overhauled on the channel. We've got about an hour drive up to BCC Unlimited where we're going to be picking up the Eclipse. So we're gonna load it on the trailer and bring it back and then we can start building the car to our satisfaction. So we're gonna head on up there and then uh, when we get there, we'll show you guys the car. It's always cool to be on the road and see your brand on another stranger's vehicle. We got a throttle license plate frame on this Tacoma here. That's super rad. So whoever you are out there, thanks for supporting us. All right, well, I just pulled up to BCC. They've got the car out front in the sun. The paint's fresh, so it's always good to put the car outside and let it cure a little bit. Oh my God, is this thing bright. I didn't, uh, I guess I knew it was gonna be bright, but holy crap, wait till you see it. I can sing, the color's perfect. The blue in the case is freaking insane. Look, look at that, they got David Randall liner. The floor, the wheel wells. Oh, dude, this is gonna be so sick. Yeah, blue is the call on the cage. That was a yeah, good move. Yeah, that was. Dude. Good job, Doug. That you nailed awesome, it. Man. it looks sick. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, your guys did a great job getting the hood gaps. When we started, the gap between the, the fiberglass fenders and the hood was really bad. The bumper to hood meetup was terrible. Doug and his guys actually spent many, many, many hours getting that to all line up. We're very thankful to them for spending the extra time to get the alignment right so this thing looks the part. Oh my God, so excited to start working on this thing. Look at how wide these fenders are. Love this. This design detail here where it sticks out. Our panel bonding all held up nice. Got our over fender splash shields. So when we put the over fender on, none of the crud gets up inside. Do you like the black detail on the trunk, Ricky? This? this? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, The carbon, yeah, dude. That's perfect. I was on the yeah. fence. No, I wanted this to show. Yeah, I know you did. I didn't. Yeah, I did. But I went with your idea. Yeah. I think it's more sick, you know? Yeah, you have to show that it's carbon. It's just so unique. Dude. It looks oh, so cool. God, I, I can't wait to get the subframe underneath the back of it. I know. All 
All right, well, one thing uh, we asked Doug and his guys here to do was to not reassemble the car completely. Uh, we don't want to damage any of this paintwork and we want to clean everything before it gets put back together. And there's still some things on the car, like this isn't the final look, obviously. There's still some stuff that needs to get blacked out and basically a lot of detail work that Ricky, Quinn, and I still need to do to this car. Ricky and I actually brought two trucks. We got Ricky's truck, we got my the Ranger over here. Ricky grabbed all the towels from our shop and we're literally Literally wrapping up all of the parts to bring back so we've already got one truck bed full here and we'll be filling up the Ranger bed as well with all kinds of fender parts and side skirts and you name it all the rest of the stuff that goes on the car so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get all that wrapped up get the car loaded up and we're gonna head back down to the shop to show the boys All right, well here's the quarter panels. Doug's guys smoothed them out real nice, got the gaps all perfect, and uh, they even wrapped their line the back. So this has like a, a rubberized coating on the inside, which is really nice. That's one of the details I like about BCC Unlimited is that they do go the extra mile. It's something we didn't ask them to do. They did it, and it's awesome. It really makes these things feel substantial, and they're gonna hold up nice uh, to any rocks or any debris that gets up inside the wheel wells. Body kit on it. That is insane. You know what? I realized the rear bumper, how we cut it, it's kind of like how that bumper was from the movie with the sides. Wow. That looks sick. Wow, I can't believe they finished all the stuff underneath where the over fenders go. Yeah, yeah, like they didn't have to do any of this body work and they got it all smoothed up. Oh, baby, the interior. Oh, the roll cage being yeah. blue. That was a judgment call. It was either white or blue. I went with blue. So the one in the movie, it was black or chrome it or something. Yeah, it, it was, was not chrome. blue. And in fact, some of the cars in the movie didn't have a roll cage at all. Uh, I think the blue will match the graphic. Dude, I'm so stoked on this. You gotta, we got two trucks full of parts. That is insane. I like how this back section is still carbon. But like... I just got more excited for this. Now it's a proper car. The color is sick though. Now Wait. Green, baby. I'm excited. This is going to be a good one. By the way guys, all of the new Throttle merch is live right now. We've got a t-shirt, we've got a hoodie, we've got a coffee mug, we got a water bottle, we've got a restock on all of the items from the last drop as well. So if you missed out on the first drop, go ahead, hop on over to the site, pause the video right now, check out the link in the video description. And remember, every $1 you spent is an entry to win the Supra too. So, win-win. Woo hoo hoo! Oh, Big news, Ricky. I just got the phone with McGuire's. Okay. They want this car for SEMA. No way. So the clock starts now. Uh, uh, yeah, we got to build the whole car in eight weeks, 10 weeks. Oh my God. <laughs> That's not it's a coming lot of up time. quick. First week in November, and we have to get the car out there too. So this is the priority okay. for sure. Ready? 
spins, crack, spin, boom. Trunks, done. Oh, my God. Uh. Oh! Mm. oh you wish. You wish. You were almost Jeez. there. You were, I'm just going to take Nate out with this thing. You were almost there. Oh. I didn't see where your mind was going. Oh. Hey, look at this. Yeah, it's sick, Quinn. <laughs> there it is. Oh, yeah, that's right. I totally forgot you had the. Okay, so I'll make you say on his phone. I'm gonna carry on this video. Thank God. It's about time you did something around here. Well, I do everything except talking, so. Do you, boo boo. <sighs> to JC. All right, well, we just got the car back from BCC Unlimited where they did a fantastic job getting the Kawasaki Green on our movie tribute car. And, uh,. Yeah, Evan did what he normally does, picked all the parts off the shelf and threw them all over the floor and... <laughs> so now that all the parts are out here with the car, we kind of want to take a second, uh, for those of you that may or may not have been following this project, or maybe not understand what the uh, level of detail or what we're kind of doing to it, uh, we'd like to explain. So Ricky, why don't you take it from here? Maybe explain what some of this stuff is and what our goal is. I mean, if you guys look down here, we usually do this when we are about to start a build. We obviously started this one already, as you guys can see over here. But this is the cool part, so let's start here. Well, Quinn did this, so we're not going to show this. But maybe they didn't see, so... Okay, we're going to show it. <laughs> uh, so Quinn did a fantastic job taking this thing completely apart and putting them back together with all high performing parts. And there's actually a video, a yeah. full video on rebuilding this entire engine. 4G63. But the best thing about this thing is the valve cover, which I did, not Quinn. Just keep well, an eye I mean, on that. We. We, we, we. Yeah, we. We, we did. Yeah, we. Well, I mean, I just painted the letters on it. Oh, yeah, he did. And I just do this. You, you bolted this down. No, I put the sticker on. I made the sticker. <laughs> I put the sticker. I made the sticker. Okay, this is what I'm excited about. Oh, this is the big swung neck. <laughs> swung, swung, swung. Stop looking at me, swan. Stop looking at me, swan. Yeah, so we tossed this together real quick. We threw some Downstar hardware through the uprights. We did a lot of this work in previous video, but since the car was at paint, there was really no sense in kind of finishing it. So I think we're excited to get this thing on the car. We've got a couple more holes to drill and pop it on and get a really good look at what the silhouette of the car is gonna look like, yeah. I mean, we kind of like set it up there earlier and it just looks fantastic. And I can't wait for this thing to freaking be in the actual car mount. Yeah, and so for those of you guys that aren't following or haven't been following this project, the idea behind this car is not to build a movie replica it is to build a modern version of what you see in the movie so in other words if the car was built in 2021 versus 1997 or 8 whenever that car was originally built so we're putting a modern twist on the the movie car from the 90s so I think it's super cool and we've seen Great. renderings that people have done and we're gonna take it and actually make it real and moving along we got uh, wheel with brakes we have uh, ditch works fuel system Clutch that's flywheel. a flywheel right we have an ACT flywheel and we have oh, an action clutch action clutch, clutch. Uh, we have motor oil a bunch of sensors and stuff that we yeah. got all right, so if you look down here, you're gonna see every single sensor possible. We have every sensor, sensor, every. We have every sensor possible that you can possibly buy at Advanced Auto for the uh, 4G63. So this thing is gonna be literally entirely brand new. Uh, we've got a bunch of Willwood brake components. We're gonna uh, upgrade the brakes on this thing. Mm -hmm. Optima battery, fuel injector clinic, fuel injectors to make the big power here. We've got a front mount intercooler, nitrous uh, intake. We've oh. got a bunch of carbon fiber goodies still from Carbonetics. And we've also got our uh, motor mount set up with tie down point and, and jacking point, which is pretty cool. That replaces a, a big old clunky factory part. There's way more than what we have here even. There's still stuff inbound, there's stuff on the shelf still. We've got a carpet kit, you name it. This car, top to bottom, every nut and bolt is getting touched and uh, modified or changed and it is gonna look epic. So, it. Some of the coolest parts that have not arrived yet are inbound right now and it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna look so insane, it's gonna look so sick. Do they know what's coming? No, no, no. no. 
Uh, we'll wait. We'll wait. So you guys have to stay tuned. But Quinn, Ricky, and myself have a lot of work to do on this one, and we're excited to announce that this car is actually going to be at the SEMA show. It is. So uh, if you guys are going to SEMA 2021, uh, you can view this thing in person. Check it out for yourself. I think you'll be stoked when you see it all finished up. It's going to be at the McGuire's booth. Yeah. So let's highlight some of the work that BCC Unlimited did. That's the paint shop that we, we use for this one. And they're the same shop that did the MR2, My Bad Apple. But let's take a look at the engine bay and the interior and all that work that they've done. We went ahead and got a brand new front bumper for this car. It's a brand new Repop front bumper. Made it with an aftermarket hood. The fitment was not great. Uh, let's be honest, the gaps were really bad. The hood didn't meet the, the bumper in the right location. It was about an inch and a half off. They literally sectioned this bumper and uh, because we weren't painting the hood, we couldn't modify the hood at all because of the uh, carbon weave. You can't screw that up because it's clear. Um, we had to do all of the modification work in the bumper and the fenders. So they got all that gapped up really nice. Uh, this fits really nice. They even went ahead and cleaned up our headlights and taillights, which was really nice of them. We didn't ask them to do that. But let's pop the hood and uh, show what's been done. I'm trying there. not to break carbon. Yeah, don't, don't break the carbonatic side skirts. So we went so far as to actually get the engine bay painted up as well. I uh, want to make sure that uh, all the work Quinn put in on that motor is appreciated and it matches with the rest of the theme of the car. We could have very easily just blacked this out and sent it, but I think BCC hit the nail on the head with the Kawasaki green in here. And BCC Unlimited even painted our subframe and uh, support system down here, which is cool. It looks great. It looks like brand new. However, we do have those boosted fabrication parts that you can see the difference. This beam here is massive right here and the engine mount goes on here. Um, so the boosted fabrication kit actually replaces that beam with a tube right here. And what's cool about this tube is it houses the front engine mount. It also has a jacking point so we can easily jack the car up from here. And it also has a trailer tie down spot here so we can hook to here instead of going around our expensive wheels, which you're going to have to wait to see. Moving on from here, we have our wide body kit. And now I will say the rear over fender is just basically stuck on there temporarily. So if you see any gaps or anything weird, because it's not actually mounted, it's just sitting on the car. So don't freak out. The front is I think 20 mil wider and I think the rear is 50 mil on each side. So this thing is gonna be super wide when it's all said and done, smashed on some sick wheels. Now let's check out the interior. So the interior of the car, uh, we actually had them spray the Kawasaki green into the inside. And that's because we're not gonna put the full interior back in. So we left the rear, which is sort of the showcase area in the Kawasaki green. Now BCC Unlimited went ahead and sprayed the front floor pan with Raptor liner. They also did all the wheel wells, which you saw previously in the video. What's nice about that is it's durable, and it's also gonna keep the road noise down because it, it acts as a sound deadener, which is great. It is a little heavier than paint, but I think it's a great upgrade for the car. And we can literally run this without carpet, right, Ricky? That's correct. This thing is super sick. Yeah, so the wheel wells are also done, which is cool because it also keeps the rock noise and stuff down if you don't put the plastic fender liners in. And on this car, we may not. We obviously modified the rear. Uh, the front, we don't have the liners in. This car is gonna sit very low. A lot of times you have to remove them because you rub on them. So now that it's Raptor lined, we're sealed, we're protected, no rust is gonna creep in. Road noise will stay down and we don't need to run factory fender lines if we don't want to. I like the fact that he took out all the interior components of the doors and he actually painted inside of the Yeah, door. the doors were completely gutted, stripped and painted. Now we are gonna be putting panels back on so it's gonna get covered up, but it looks beautiful and they did a fantastic job. The color change was done. Like they yeah. literally removed everything. All the door tracks, everything was taken out of this door to get it to, to look nice. So that's great. Moving on, the one thing you probably noticed is this big blue thing in here and that's our auto power our roll cage that you guys saw in a previous video where Ricky actually welded in the backing plates to the chassis and got this thing bolted in. Uh, we went ahead and had BCC Unlimited spray a coat of blue on it. I think you can kind of see where the theme is going here. It's going to tie into the graphics that'll come later on. As you can see, they seam sealed all this again over top of the work that we did. Now, mind you, these are uh, won't be exposed. You're not going to see this metal at all. Our over fender goes over top of this. This seals against our over fender. Ricky did a really nice job of cutting that in and getting it welded up and you can see everything's nice and sealed. This area is no longer used. Our fuel door, we had to come up with a, a way to do this, but we're actually gonna ha cut this out probably a little bigger. Our fuel filler neck will, will protrude through here and uh, we'll have like a Sparco gas door on the fiberglass wide body fender. So 
Hopefully you guys can visualize that in your head. I know it's a lot of info. You guys, if you've been following the project, you've seen where Ricky built this support system for our wings. So our swan neck actually passes all of the weight and load capacity. No lux in here through to this beam, which actually is welded to a beam that is welded to the frame, the chassis. That's a pretty cool feature. As you can see, we have a big, huge hole in the floor here. And we've got one thing coming that is gonna explain a little bit why we still have this massive hole in the floor here, but we're gonna have to wait till the next video for that one. Oh yeah, let's show the carbon eggs hatch as well. Um, this was a full carbon part that since the movie car was painted, we wanted to paint it as well, but uh, Ricky liked the idea of leaving this back, um, what do they call this, duck tail or however, duck bill. little duck bill left that carbon. So when you walk up on the car, it, it kind of accentuates the line. It also lets you know that, oh, this is a carbon part without actually screaming it's a carbon part, right. which is cool. We cut the rear bumper out, we cut the rear pan out. We've got a nice clear view to our subframe, which yep. is uh, which is gonna be one of the features of the car, so you guys will have to wait to check that out. But we've got a little bit of work to do back here. We've got a diffuser we're gonna be adding, and so we gotta build the exhaust system. We have to That's build a custom exhaust. We've got a, a lot full to be done. custom suspension we're putting under this car. Yeah. Custom this audio, thing, custom bonkers, dash. Dude. This thing is gonna be bonkers. Yeah. So. so a lot of fabrication needs to be done in just a few weeks yeah. before it needs to be in SEMA. Yeah, so we have nine weeks from today until SEMA. <laughs> no pressure. So that about wraps up all the mod stuff, at least uh, in theory. Yeah, enough talking, let's, uh, let's get to work. Ain't nothing to it, but to do it.